My name is Anastasia and I got breast augmentation five weeks ago. And this is the result. Although I had a bit of breast tissue, I had them placed underneath the muscle because it makes them feel more real. I started as full A, but now I'm in between C and D. The incision was under my breast fold and now the scar is becoming less visible. Before, to wear this type of t-shirt, I had to wear a push-up breast, but now I can wear it just without it. I've wanted these breast implants for the past 5 years and I'm so happy that I got them. This is what they look like without a bra. This is Tony and this is my voice. This is Anastasia and this is my voice. When we got to the clinic, we had to go through the anti-corona screening process. We went through a body scanner and the temperature check to make sure we are okay. Then we did a little consultation with one of the workers before we saw the doctor and Anastasia overwent what she wanted to have done. Right before the surgery, I had to do extensive health checkup. They checked my heart, they checked my blood. And it's pretty cool because they have systems to be able to check you right away. You don't need to go to a separate hospital. They checked my blood pressure and they did my CT scan. Yeah, this equipment is very cool to have inside of the clinic. Now, there's so many implants that you can choose from. Why did you choose Motiva implants? I chose Motiva because they've been on the market for the longest time. As you can see, the gel inside is very safe. So Anna, what's the reason that you want to have breast implants? I've been thinking about it for a long time and kind of something that I think would make me look a little bit more confident, although I don't have problems with it, but I think just wearing clothes, different clothes, more options. the morning of the surgery and how do you feel? Excited, a bit tired, but I'm ready to go. And what were your preparations last night? Take a shower, drink a lot of water, eat, and then fast, get a good sleep. Yeah. Any questions before we go upstairs? No, thank you. Good care of me, please. <laughs> Always. Right before the surgery, she had to sign some waivers and also agree to get the Motiva implants. So she fills out a form, make sure these are her implants and only her implants. And then the doctor comes in and checks her and designs the surgical procedure right in front of her. When the doctor was designing where the incision points would be and what is the size of my breast would be like after the surgery, he asked me a couple of questions and I explained to him that I didn't want extremely large breasts, but I wanted it to match my body. After the surgery, you were very groggy. Michelle was there helping you out. And Michelle is our company's happiness manager. The happiness manager is there before you come to Korea, after your surgery, and even after you go home, she's continuous to contact you. And she actually is rated on a scale of 200. Uh, about your happiness <laughs> to see exactly if she did her job well or not and she was there with you the entire time one week after the surgery I came in for rejuvenation laser and light therapy to help speed up my healing process and for the doctor to check if everything is going well another great treatment to have is the anti-scar laser treatment this is done on the incision point. Anna's incision point was underneath the breast fold in the flap area, and the doctor reduced it down using this treatment. This is the first week after surgery. The second week after surgery is to follow, and you can see the breasts are still swollen, but the recovery is pretty good, and you're going to have to use this kind of bra. I had to wear this bra for 24 hours every day for a month, and then after that, I was allowed to just wear it at night and during the day I wore sports bra. I have to keep wearing sport bra for up to three months and after that I can wear any bra for another six months as long as it doesn't have a wire. Now, six weeks post-surgery, my breasts feel really soft and I can see that 
it's healed a lot after the surgery right after the surgery it was a little bit tight all the swelling went down and i really like my results and it's only been six weeks so although a lot of the swelling went down you still actually have a lot more de-swelling to go and it's going to continue to get softer in fact full healing of the breast doesn't really occur for another one to two years so although even after one two three months you're gonna think like oh it's it's as good as it's gonna be it actually gets even better it gets a little bit softer a little bit more refined just a little bit nicer as time goes on I look forward to see my final result, however, I am so happy that I actually can do anything I want. You definitely don't want to make a mistake and just choose someone that you see online because they have good before and after photos. I mean, anyone can make a video, anyone can have good and after photos, but you need a specialist. If you look through our track history, we have about 200 videos up on YouTube, so it's not just one or two. And we actually have a record of doing this thing for about 10 years now in Korea. So because of that, Soul Guide Medical is able to take you from the first step all the way until the end. We have several people in our company who actually had breast augmentation, like Anastasia, who is a plastic surgery manager. Whenever I talk to our patients, I always explain that when you choose a doctor you should have a specialist doing your surgery you don't want a plastic surgeon that does surgeries head to toe you want someone who specializes in the type of surgery that you are interested in i completely agree when i had my nose done i chose a nose specialist if i were to have liposuction i would choose a liposuction specialist it's better to choose specialists than general surgeons i mean people that live in countries that don't have as much plastic surgery don't really have a choice you more or less go to a generalist but when you're in korea you know almost everybody specializes you've got your face doctors then even within the face you've got your bone doctors often nose and eyes doctors and grafting doctors don't cut the job those are yeah. specialists that do something else breast doctors are breast doctors like it's a very interesting division the hospitals handle their end of the surgery and we make sure that you know all of the information and we're there by your side if you want to have breast surgery you can contact anastasia because anastasia is now a specialist you can contact us through consult at soulguidemedical.com if you want to do breast augmentation you can contact me and i will have a video call with you and answer any questions that you might have about the procedure thanks for joining us today and have a nice day bye